Narcissistic abuse, unlike physical abuse, leaves emotional and psychological scars. Do you suspect someone of being a narcissist? Perhaps you have a narcissistic friend, boyfriend or girlfriend, or even a narcissistic parent. If you suspect that you or someone you know is a narcissist, then join us today as we dive into the world of psychology and discuss the common traits of a narcissist. If you aren't exactly sure what the term narcissist means, it's someone who has a narcissistic personality disorder. This is a clinically diagnosed personality disorder characterized by grandiosity, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy toward other people. In short, it's someone who believes they're better than everyone else. A healthy sense of self can be a good thing. In fact, some researchers believe those who have somewhat grandiose views of themselves are mentally tougher, less stressed, and less at risk for depression. However, compared to simply feeling confident, narcissism is on an entirely different level. Narcissistic Personality Disorder or NPD is one of the 10 personality disorders recognized in the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Ironically, while a person with NPD may have extremely high self-esteem, it can also be extremely fragile and reliant on external validation. They'll believe grandiose fantasies about themselves such as believing they are smarter, more attractive, and more successful than everyone they know. They have a habit of putting others down and generally hijack any conversation or situation in order to make themselves feel better or superior. A narcissist finds it extremely uncomfortable to feel less than perfect, and they will do anything in their power to avoid this. Before we continue, a brief request from us. If you find value in this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our valuable content on psychology in the future. Now off to the common traits of a narcissist. Number 1. Superiority and Entitlement Superiority is the most common sign of a narcissist. This is different from self-confidence alone. The narcissist's world is all about them being the good guys, them being superior, and them being the right ones. Narcissists must be the best, the most correct, and the most competent. They must do everything in their own way, they must own everything, and they must control everyone. Number 2. An Exaggerated Need for Attention and Validation Another core trait of a narcissist is their constant need for attention. This can manifest as following you around the house, asking you to find things, or constantly saying something to get your attention. Validation for a narcissist counts only if it comes from others. A narcissist's need for validation is like a funnel. You pour in positive supportive words, and they just flow out on the other end and disappear. Despite all of their self-absorbed grandiose bragging, narcissists are actually very insecure and fearful of not measuring up. They constantly try to elicit praise and approval from others to shore up their fragile egos, but no matter how much they're given, they always want more. Number 3. Perfectionism A narcissist can be identified by their extreme desire for everything to be perfect. They believe that they should be perfect, that you should be perfect, that events should happen exactly as expected, and life should unfold exactly as they envision it. This is an excruciatingly difficult demand which leaves the narcissist dissatisfied and miserable most of the time. Number 4. A Need for Control Manipulation and attempting to take control of everything is typical narcissistic behavior. Since narcissists are constantly dissatisfied with the way life unfolds, they want to exert as much control as possible over it and shape it to their liking. They want and demand to be in charge. Their sense of entitlement leads them to believe that they should be in charge of everything. When anyone around them doesn't behave as expected, they become quite upset and unsettled. Number 5. The Lack of Responsibility Lack of responsibility, including blaming and deflection, is a glaring sign of a narcissist. Although narcissists want to be in control, they never want to be responsible for the results, unless everything goes exactly their way and their desired outcome occurs. When things don't go according to their plan, the narcissist places all the blame and responsibility on someone else to maintain their own facade of perfection. Number 6. A Lack of Boundaries Many people lack boundaries or regularly cross other people's boundaries, but for narcissists, this behavior is quite normal. They believe that everything is theirs, that everyone thinks and feels the same way as they do, 
and that everyone desires the same things they want. A narcissist will go to great lengths to get what they want from you, whether through persistence, demanding, rejecting, or pouting. They will never take no for an answer. Number 7. A Lack of Empathy Narcissists have a limited ability to empathize with others. This lack of empathy is a hallmark sign of narcissism. Narcissists are selfish and self-centered and they are often unable to understand how others feel. They are rarely apologetic, remorseful, or guilty. They are unaware that their emotions are the result of their own thoughts and interpretations. Moreover, they believe that you are the source of their emotions, especially negative ones. They conclude that you are to blame because you did not follow their plan or because you made them feel vulnerable. Because of this lack of empathy, true emotional connection and relationships with narcissists are difficult or impossible. They simply do not notice and have a hard time understanding what someone else is feeling. Number 8. Perceiving everything as a threat Although narcissists are highly sensitive to perceived threats, anger, and rejection from others, they frequently misinterpret subtle facial expressions and typically see them in a negative light. A narcissist will not actually perceive your emotions unless you are acting them out dramatically. When they're on edge or angry, even saying I'm sorry or I love you can backfire. They will not believe you and may misinterpret your comment as an attack. This is why narcissists frequently misinterpret sarcasm as actual agreement or other people's joking as a personal attack. Number 9. Inability to work as part of a team What will the other person think? Will this action make us both happy? What effect will this have on our relationship? These are all questions that narcissists lack the capacity or motivation to consider. Don't expect a narcissist to understand your feelings, compromise, cave in, or give up anything for your sake. This is pointless. Lastly, number 10, the feeling of deeply repressed shame. Narcissists don't feel much guilt because they think that they're always right. They never consider the effects of their behaviors on other people. Oftentimes, however, they harbor a lot of shame. Shame is the belief that there is something deeply and permanently wrong or bad about who you are. Buried in the deeply repressed part of a narcissist are all the insecurities, fear, and rejected traits that they are constantly on guard to hide from everyone, including themselves. Ultimately, this makes it impossible for them to be completely real and transparent. Well, if you think that you're suffering from a classic case of narcissism, or if someone you know might be a classic narcissist, consider taking a break from these people. Think about treatment as well as consider how you might be able to improve your relationships with these people. If you're only negatively affected by narcissists around you, then perhaps it's best to cut them off. Anyway, that concludes our video on the common traits of a narcissist. Be reminded that this video is primarily for information only, and we don't claim to provide professional insight in the field of psychology. Additionally, please leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell button to receive information on our new videos. If you've got the time and money, a thank you really goes a long way. If you want to watch more of our content, you know where to find us. Anyway, see you later, and thank you for watching.